good as the, the crowd, a tremendous crowd has turned out today. Estimated something in the region of 15 to 20,000 pack in every available vantage point. And they've waited, they've had a tied match, and the umpires are coming out. In theory, I think this is probably a, a preferable way to finish a match or decide a match than the bowl off. I mean, it is cricket, it is back, big board. A bowl off is simply bowl to feed the stumps, I guess, or there is no contest. You bowl it straight, you you hit the stumps, but uh, you know, these international class bowlers missing unprotected wickets always had uh, a humour element to it. But here, this is something new. This is the first time this will be played out. And I think everyone viewing at the ground and everyone at home should feel pretty pleased that they're about to witness it. Yeah, it's one team against another. One team's bowler against another's batsman for one over. And just a routine. Each team nominates three batsmen. When two are out, that's it. They only have one bowler, and the West Indies batsmen nominated are Chris Gale, there he is, along with Xavier Marshall and the Shubnaran Chandapal. So those are the three nominated. And the bowler nominated for New Zealand is the captain Daniel Batori. He's had an outstanding performance in the West Indies innings, four of those three for 16. And it's probably a nice touch that, that New Zealand's bowler is the standout captain. The responsibility falls on his shoulders. He certainly is a man who handles responsibility very well. Well, it really is captain to captain. The Tory, the Gale, and you'd have to say that these are the two who have decided the course of the match. Gale with his batting, the Tory with his bowling, and they're now going to decide the fate of the match as well in the one over eliminator. A lot of things have changed in this game of cricket over the years. We've seen the referral system for decisions going to the umpires in the test series. Now we're seeing one over eliminator to decide a tied 2020 international. And uh, we're just about to start. The Tory will bowl to Gale. Batsman out there with Gale is Marshall. Only four fielders need to be in the restricting area. Six balls. And of course all the normal laws apply. A wide, a no ball, and here we go. Gale to face the Tory. And it's in the air, it's gone, it's gone, back, 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 and a far way back, Gale starts with a six. And this is mana on mana right here. Right here, right now. The Tory went for the quick one first got dragged it, and Gale was good enough to take control of it. Gale again, down the ground, just one this time, they'll think of a second, yes, Marshall says come along for it, he's there and ready, very, very close, they'll ask for the television replay. Well, definitely worth trying to get Gale back on strike, definitely worth risking a wicket, great gather from Vittori and he gets it there, it's a comfortable decision. So Marshall has run out without facing a ball. But I think they're reading the game not the same way as uh, the expert to my right, Mark Richardson, is reading it. Experienced a former test player, of course, and he knows and made the point that it was worth taking the second to get Gale back on the strike. It counts as one. They did complete one, so it counts as one, and Gale has the strike. Four balls left in the over. If now Gale is out, that's it. Shudnarayan Chandapal comes in to join him. Yeah, it's all on, it's all on the wicket now. Vittori needs to make sure that 
if Gale misses or mistimes it, he can pick him up. So that will just add in the Greer Dowd, although I think in one over, I think most batsmen will forget wicket scenarios. They'll, they'll just try the quality of ball strike. They'll look to hit it out of the park. We've seen some tremendous test matches played recently. Cricket's in a buoyant state. You've got to love this. Four balls remain in the first of the eliminator overs. Victoria to Gale. There he goes. That's another six from Dick Chris Gale. A big one straight down the ground. The gamble pays off. The gamble has paid off. Pushing that extra run put Gale back on strike. And because of that, the very next delivery, he's pounded it straight back over Victoria's head. Flat and hard. Into the stand. Three balls remain. There he goes again. That's on. He's gone even further. Christopher Gale. Appropriate name for the captain. Take a bow. It was the arm ball, but it wasn't full enough. This man is in such good form right now. He is so good. You fractionally miss, and he will not. He looked angry. He looked cross when his side blew apart the initiative he had provided for them in the main game. And he is leading the way in the super over. Two balls to get. He's got all 19 runs, Gail. Two balls to go. Just one wicket to fall, and that finishes off the rest of his effort. Gail will go full blast once more. Vittori round the wicket to him now. There he goes again. Down the ground. And it's gone for four. Between two fielders. Well, we know Chris Gale. We know of his power. We know his strength. And he's producing it here against the bowler who... In the match itself, pulled the four overs and took two, three for a 16. Now he's gone three times for six and now for a four. Last ball. He's tried for the flatter arm balls. He's tried for the flat style delivery, Vittori, and he's missed. It's not his natural go-to. He likes to take the pace off the ball. There goes Gale again. It's got snow on as it comes down. They've run one. They've run two. And that's the end of it. Chris Gale from the Eliminator over has cracked 25 all by himself. And now it's down to Suleiman Ben for the West Indies and to Ross Taylor and the others for New Zealand. Well, he's smiling now, Chris Gale, isn't he? Boy, he looked an angry man before he came out the bat. And he took some frustration out, all right? He took it out on the New Zealanders, in particular the New Zealand captain. 25 from the over. He was charged with the responsibility, and boy, did he take it. This man is stealing the show. Against New Zealand, look at the reaction around this ground. Yes, and Look at the reaction. Ovation all around for Chris Gale as he comes back. They're stunned, but they know that they've seen something quite special. And they've got to see something extra special now 